Hello military lovers, this time we will discuss one of the tow anti-aircraft cannons that are still maintained by the German military, namely the Ehrlichen 35mm twin cannon. The twin Ehrlichen GDF or Ehrlichen 35mm gun is a crane anti-aircraft gun manufactured by Ehrlichen Kontraves, renamed Rheinmetall Air Defense AG, after its merger with Rheinmetall in 2009. This cannon is estimated to have been used by about 30 countries. Please note the Ehrlichen 35mm gun is a low to moderate all-weather air defense system with a maximum effective range of 4,000 meters. This system was originally designated as the TUS LA 353 ML, but this was later changed to the GDF-001 in 1980 an upgraded model, the GDF-002 was produced, which featured improved eyesight and the ability to be aimed by off-the-shelf digital weapons control systems. A few years later a third version of the system was produced, the GDF-003, which was generally similar to the GDF-002, but included several enhancements such as an automatic lubricating gun and an integrated protective cover. In 1985 a further improved model was produced, the GDF-005, which was introduced, featuring the gunking 3D computer-controlled sight with an integrated laser rangefinder and digital control system. The weapons are usually transported in a 5-ton 6x6 truck. Later, the GDF-005 was upgraded to the AHEAD system and was named GDF-007. The AHEAD technology developed by Ehrlichen Kontraves enhances the ability of air defense weapons to attack and destroy air targets, from large aircraft to small targets, such as missiles or PGMs, precision-guided munition. With the addition of a head modernization, the existing Skyguard is equipped with a fire control subsystem that allows the systems to be operated as standalone weapons or in a network of fire units separated by up to 3 kilometers from each other. The system uses twin automatic cannons, firing standard 35x 228mm NATO ammunition. It was originally designated 353MK and is now designated as the KD series. The same 35mm KD series gun was used in the Gepard 1-based Gepard and Type 74-based Type 87 SPOG tanks and Marksman self-propelled anti-aircraft guns, SPOG. This system can be paired with the off-gun Super Fledermoss fire control radar, which in the late 1970s was upgraded to the Skyguard system. The weapons alternate either directly, via an advanced sight system, or automatically, by locking onto the target with radar. Early models carried 112 shells ready to fire, and an additional 126 rounds were stored in the chassis as reloads. The next version with automatic reload brings a total of 280 rounds. A typical engagement blast is 28 rounds. Skyguard combines advanced target detection, tracking sensors, advanced fire control and ballistics computing, with twin gun accuracy, and a high rate of fire of up to 1,100 rounds per minute. Fires Rheinmetall's famous ahead air burst ammunition can destroy even the smallest targets and provides excellent saturation resistance due to the large amount of ammunition ready to fire. The Skyguard system can also incorporate an optional SAM module based on the GDF mounting system and radar, but with the cannon replaced with four missile tubes. Skyguard is operated by four people. Radar is deployed rapidly through the use of a hydraulic system for antenna mounting. The trailer accommodates a crew of two and a small electric generator. A typical fire unit consists of two twin 35mm gun platforms with a single Skyguard fire control radar. The Super Fledermoss fire control system was designed and built by the then separate Contraves company. It consists of a four-wheel crane trailer with an EF-band pulse Doppler search radar with a range of approximately 15 kilometers and a pulse Doppler tracking radar operating in the J-band, also with a range of 15 kilometers. It is also used as a fire control system at Gepard Spog. Variants, GDF-001, first version, GDF-002, featuring improved vision and the ability to be steered by an off-gun digital control system. GDF-003, similar to GDF-002, but includes several enhancements such as an auto-lubricating gun and an integrated protective cover. GDF-005 has several overall upgrades that can be retrofitted to existing versions of GDF using a modification kit. One of the major improvements is the installation of the Gunking 3D Autonomous Computer Controlled Optronic Sighting System, which eliminates the need for the shooter to estimate target parameters. GDF-006, GDF-0010020003 upgraded with the head system. 
GDF007, upgraded GDF005 with a head system, and model GDF009 is based on a four-wheel carriage and is lifted off the ground by three stabilizers when used in the firing position.